the Whakaputanga Declaration of Independence perhaps came out of discussions with American sailors coming in who've just declared themselves independent of Britain. The Rangatira were in command of their own country. And it was in Māori basically claiming for themselves the, the sovereignty of New Zealand and declaring that to the wider world. Perhaps it was in discussion with James Busby who knew an awful lot of other declarations that had happened around the world. From James Busby's perspective, it was intended to, to block a threat from Duterte who was threatening to set up a sort of independent state in Northland. Um, and so his objective is, is to block that. It's a period when the Bay of Islands is the hub of Pacific trade, huge trade going on between Sydney, Tahiti, the Bay of Islands, Sydney, Tahiti, the Bay of Islands. And they were knowing the sort of pressure that the French were putting on in Tahiti. But it was definitely after a lot of consideration on behalf of chiefs and their people around the north, lots of hui were held, and due consideration from their experiences of those people coming into their country and of their travels out into the bigger world. Māori themselves are experimenting, experimenting with new forms of governance because um, in the process of welcoming Pākehā to New Zealand, they're also experiencing problems and issues for the first time ever. Guns at one level, potatoes, horses, Christianity, literacy, not adopted by everybody, but adopted by enough to make a huge difference. So coming up with looking at the changes, particularly up north in the Bay of Islands, I think it was not unusual for Māori to be very ready to uh, go put together a declaration of independence. This was not a col colony declaring themselves independent of the motherland. This was an indigenous group of people saying, we belong on the world stage. We are an independent nation. Extraordinary. <laughs>